Hi, Chuck Butall here with another When It Comes Down To It. This time we're talking inspection instruments and most importantly, taking care of our instruments out in the field. As you can see in front of me, I have two different kits here. This is a kit that we use in our ASD at the Restoration Technical Institute. And this kit can be locked. It also has high security as far as a extremely durable case. And the most important thing about these cases is they can be foam padded. And of course, what you can do is cut out the pieces that you need in order to place your instruments inside. You don't want them in a gym bag, all being tossed up, beaten together, and destroyed. These instruments are from several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars a piece, and we need to treat them that way. Also remember, instruments that are not taken care of very well may not read readings properly on the materials that we're investigating, which means we could get false readings, and then we're making decisions based on bad data, which can make for a bad project. So it's very critical to maintain your kit. So number one, decide upon an aftermarket case such as this one or a case provided by the manufacturer such as this one. Both kits, as you can see, again, insulated, lockable, and make absolutely sure that you still shelter them from temperature extremes. Putting these cases in the luggage compartment of an airplane can subject them to 20 and 40 below zero temperatures. That's not good, even in the case, for our thermohygrometers especially. And of course, being kept in a locked vehicle in the summertime, that could easily bring temperatures 140, 160 inside the vehicle, again, causing extreme temperatures on our thermohygrometers primarily, but all of our instruments. Let's refrain from doing that. Make sure they're stored properly. The other thing that comes down to it is we want to make absolutely sure that our instruments are cleaned. So very simply, right after a little water loss or any type of building investigation, especially after something like a fire loss or any type of mold projects, we want to go ahead and apply a good cleaner to a towel. Now you want to make sure that this cleaner is going to be effectively removing the contaminants, but at the same time we don't want this cleaner to cause any kind of problems dulling or cracking our screens or anything on our meters. So we want to make absolutely sure, in this particular case, we're just using an electronics cleaner, your basic computer screen cleaner. We're going to wipe the meter down completely, and we want to use a microfiber towel. Most important thing about that is we don't want a lot of dust and debris getting into our switch areas, causing problems with contacts. Once the instruments are clean, place back in the kit, store them properly, and make absolutely sure that you have a good maintenance program on your kits. Make sure one person signs out the kit and is responsible for the kit coming back in as it was when it was signed out. Another thing to think about is there's two different kits here for two different purposes. This is an ASD kit. So we built this kit for applied structural drying course. We actually have a hydro sensor in here for our monitoring of how far our water has creeped across the carpet sizing tools so we can measure room dimensions very quickly. And then of course, non-invasive and as well as invasive meters. Now this one also actually has a really nice device that allows us to go ahead and check electrical circuits. And this can tell you amps online, voltage, and a few other things as you've seen in probably our other videos. Great tool. And then we have a circuit breaker check. This one allows us to plug this into a Wall outlet, we scan the circuit breaker panel with this and we know which breaker controls which wall outlet. So again, this kit's developed for what? A water damage inspection. Now over here, I've got my own personal kit and this kit is very similar, except for as you can see, I also have hammer probes in here for hardwood floors. I have data logger devices that I can leave behind day-to-day -day access of information remotely. And in this particular kit, I even have a little infrared thermal imaging camera system from FLIR that plugs into my phone. So these are very nice because they're inexpensive. They're not fantastic as far as they don't have all the capability that large cameras do, but for a quick inspection, ultimate nice tool, very small package. And again, the concept is build the kit for the purpose. And don't think you have to have one kit that has to have everything in it. At ASD, we actually have a kit that's designed just for our wood floor team. So again, think about this. Maintain the kits. Always maintain your meters. Shelter them from serious temperature extremes. Lastly, make sure the kits are signed out to an individual who has responsibility for those kits. And remember, we can always make a kit specific for 
the task at hand. So don't think you have to have one massive kit. When it comes down to it, follow the procedures of cleaning, authorization, and of course, a certain amount of responsibility for returning these kits clean, have the kit dedicated to the use, you're gonna get good readings with good people, and that makes for good projects. Thank you for learning with rtilearning.com. Hi, Chuck Butel here with another When It Comes On Down To It. Yeah, well, I don't know why I threw in the on that time. And uh, another When It Comes On Down To It. On down to it. When, when it comes, comes down, down to it, it. yeah. Hi, Chuck Butel, Director of Education. When It Comes On Down To It, another episode. This time, huh? You did it again. Yeah. Chuck, when it comes down, down to, it. to it. No, no, the right one. That's exactly it. So in the new When It Comes Down To It, we're going to explore the whole new world of RTI's new Invisibility Towel, a rather amazing device that helps you lose weight or become invisible instantaneously. How amazing. Look for it in the next When It Comes Down To It with Chuck Butall. As always, thank you for learning with RTILearning.com.